At dawn on the 16th of November, Denisov's squadron, in which Nicholas Rostov served and which was Prince Bagration's detachment, moved from the place where it had spent the night, advancing into action as arranged, and after going behind other columns for about two-thirds of a mile, was stopped on the high road. All the fear before action which he had experienced as previously, all the inner struggle to conquer that fear, all his dreams of distinguishing himself as a true hussar in this battle had been wasted. Their squadron remained in reserve and Nicholas Rostov spent that day in a dull and wretched mood. At nine in the morning he heard firing in front and shouts of hurrah and saw wounded being brought back. There were not many of them and at last he saw how a whole detachment of French cavalry was brought in, convoyed by a centenar of Cossacks. Evidently, the affair was over, and though not big, had been a successful engagement. The men and officers returning spoke of a brilliant victory, of the occupation of the town of Wiskow and the capture of a whole French squadron. The day was bright and sunny after a sharp night frost, and the cheerful glitter of that autumn day was in keeping with the news of victory which was conveyed, not only by the tales of those who had taken part in it, but also the joyful expression on the faces of soldiers, officers, generals and adjutants as they passed Rostov going or coming. And Nicholas, who had vainly suffered all the dread that precedes a battle, had spent that happy day in inactivity, was all the more depressed.